Hey guys, on this episode, I'm gonna be finishing up the excursion. Unfortunately, my phone, I ran it over with the tractor and there was something wrong with my GoPro. So there was a bunch of footage that was lost, but you guys will obviously see the first half of it of me working on it. And then it's gonna skip directly to walk around of the finished product, uh, just because I got no footage to show you guys. The truck is a little bit dirty because the, the customer was using it, but the uh, customer's happy and ultimately, the rockers are rust free and it's repaired. So stay tuned. I'm picking up where I left off last time. So last time I got this dog leg um, cut to where all the body lines match up pretty good. So what I'm gonna be working on right now is I have to um, mark out this radius and then add about an inch, inch and a quarter. That way I can make this lip and then the rest of this I can cut off so I'll get you guys set up on time lapse and we'll go from there. All right, the important thing, whenever you're trying to line this up, just lost my marker. Whenever you're trying to line this up, so you can see there's the gap right there that I'm trying to maintain. So I'm trying to maintain like a light quarter inch from here to the new panel, all right? Which I haven't marked, you can see the scribe and then the on the inside, so let me have, so this radius right here is where I'm actually gonna bend it. So it's important that that tape line you can see ends at that radius, which it does. And I pull this off and put it back on. So you can see right here, this is gonna be my bend line, all right? And then I'm actually gonna add maybe a little bit more, maybe a, extra quarter above this scribe line. So that way I have enough material and I don't end up short on my uh, lip. And then from here over, I'll cut and get rid of this. And then I'll start dollying this lip and radius so that this way, this will fit right over it. Well, I can say it's uh, yeah, I got safety glasses, but OSHA would not be proud of me. I gotta do is uh you see this dog leg is kind of ankled down so i have to push it up and tack it and that way i'll be working off of a straight um bottom rocker edge and i can start to dolly this dolly this over Got it all um, bent with a pair of pliers. And I gotta tack the very top corner here so that way I can get a good bend on the top piece. And I will start to dolly it so that way it contours um, to the molding.
got the lip formed a little bit better. I got the uh, thunder flare clamped on here. You can see it turned out pretty good. So I just have to finish tacking everything in. I have to make a little uh, plate for back here. A little panel, I don't know if you guys see it, a little bit dark. But um, I cut this out, so I'll have to make a little panel and then tack this in so that way mud doesn't get up into the inner rocker. And tack my rockers. I gotta trim these pieces so that way it'll fit on the cab corner. Uh, same with this, gonna trim this piece so it'll fit with the cab corner. I gotta cut this. So that way I can butt, butt weld it up to the original B pillar. So I'll get you guys set up in time lapse and we'll go from there. All right, next step is I'm gonna get this outer rocker mocked up and then I'll throw a couple of the self-tapping screws to align it where I previously had it, fire up the welder and start welding.
here's the finished product. It's a couple weeks ago, but you see, besides the dirt, she is dirty. Here's the back. I did a chip guard and paint matched it. So here's the line where I stopped. And then it goes down and it goes behind here. This is all chip guard. Oh, she's dirty. New tires though. That's it. She is back on the road.